Do you suffer from constipation, abdominal pain or bloating? Now it could be, and something I always investigate here at my clinic, is whether your ileocecal valve works correctly. And that is the door, essentially the door, between the small and the large intestine. So it connects the two, small and the large intestine, and it's meant to only flow in one direction. So it stops the backflow of faeces. Now with a malfunction, that can mean that it's chronically closed or chronically open. So often that's linked to uh, stress or maybe a nutritional deficiency. But I just want to show you uh, a couple of techniques you can use at home, and I always encourage my clients after I've balanced um, uh, the ileocecal valve uh, to use at home, um, just so that you can make sure that it stays in balance after I've balanced it. And maybe you can just, by using this technique, you can keep it in balance, especially if you're stressed or you've got uh, bloating or constipation. So all you need to do is to uh, just lie down and the valve can be found between the hip and your belly button. Okay, so it's, uh, it's usually around about there and I'm, you're going to really push in and up, in and up, and your right leg for the next two minutes, set a timer, so really push in as much as possible. You can use both hands. And can you see that? I'm just rotating my leg really, really slowly, but remember to really put pressure onto that area between your belly button and your hip bone. And I can already feel it. Feels like I'm working the muscle, but I'm actually working that little bit deeper. Okay, so you're doing that for a couple of minutes. I'm going to stop here. And the other thing you're going to do is on the other side, we've actually got some Houston rings, which um, make, as they're called, which make sure that in the large intestine, your thesis doesn't just flop out, <laughs> flow through. Interlace your hands. And again, find that, that spot between your hip and your belly button, but this time on both sides. And you're going to breathe in, breathe in as deeply as you can. And on the out breath, you're pushing down and up. Okay, so breathe in and push down and up and breathe out. Go back up again, breathe in, push down and out and breathe out again. Hope that all makes sense. So there's a couple of techniques you can use to make sure that that area between your small and large intestine is happy. Uh, nutritionally, uh, there are, uh, it's worth just really making sure that your gut is working uh, smoothly, generally speaking, and that there's a good balance of um, healthy, um, healthy gut bacteria as well. Hope that was useful. Um, any further investigation, give me a shout. Take care.